From its introduction in 1982 until the arrival of Windows Vista in 2006, DA15 or GamePort served as the primary means of connecting your joystick to an IBM compatible PC. The devices did heavily change during this time, but quite often the quality of older joysticks has eclipsed their more modern counterparts. There are also those who are simply used to what they used to use. Fortunately, over 90% if not more of all DA15 joysticks are adaptable to modern PCs with USB, which means that with a little research, a little patience, and a bit of effort, you can reuse the joysticks you once used back in the late 90s or even earlier. Suppose there is a DA15 joystick that you wish you had. They are considered obsolete and often sell for pennies on the dollar compared to their original prices. No one produces a joystick for DA15 port any longer. They are considered obsolete are in some ways eclipsed by the features of the latest and most modern joysticks. However, not all joysticks are created equal. Many modern joysticks simply do not take the abuse older controllers were designed to endure. As you flop your joystick around frantically trying to keep one step ahead of your game's opponent, your joystick is taking considerable wear. Newer controllers do not take this the way older sticks were designed to. When you scavenge a thrift store or even eBay for second-hand controllers, you are more likely to find DA15 sticks in better condition than their modern USB counterparts. Put another way, they were built to last. Research from other users has shown that Windows 7 X32 actually will respond favorably to modified green port drivers and operate joysticks as they did in Windows XP. This means that if you are running an X32 operating system, it might still be possible in most cases to get a game port to operate for you. This sadly is not the case for 64-bit systems. Windows 64-bit does not have the framework to understand how to address a joystick once it has been attached to the game port, even though it can detect and load a driver for the game port itself. For X32 game port drivers, see our software catalog. Bear in mind this solution is untested with Windows 8. Getting your game port joystick to work with a modern PC, especially a 64-bit computer, means that you need to adapt it to operate with a USB port. In order for this to work, an appropriate adapter must be either fashioned yourself or purchased from a commercial maker. Such an adapter includes in a nutshell, a DA15 port to plug in your joystick, a microcontroller or small computer chip which takes the input from the joystick and translates it into USB, and a USB dongle which you can use to plug in the adapter into your PC. Choosing the correct USB to game port adapter for your joystick controller takes a slight amount of research and a bit of patience. You need to know, for example, is your joystick digital or analog? Most analog joysticks will take most any commercial adapter in a few seconds to set up. But what if it's digital? What brand is it? What signal mixing does it use? Joysticks heavily evolved during the game port era, growing from simple two-axis, two-button game controllers to complicated devices with many buttons using up to four axes. DA15 joysticks are generally kept into two camps, analog joysticks and digital joysticks. Knowing the differences of whether or not your DA15 joystick is analog or digital is the first step in determining if and how your joystick can be adapted for use with USB via adapters or rewiring. Early joysticks were called analog joysticks. Such a joystick will have either two axis, two axis and a throttle, or two axis throttle and rudder pedals. These will have either two or four buttons. No purely analog joystick will possess a point of view hat. Joystick manufacturers began to use signal mixing to produce joysticks which adhered to their own standards and did not strictly adhere to IBM's DA15 specifications. That is, instead of using a single pin on a DA15 port to address the joystick's functions, you would use a combination of pins per signal. These controllers also possessed the first point of view hats. They would be the first digital joysticks. They would require their own driver software in order to be utilized by Windows 95. In MS-DOS, the game title would have to be directly programmed for it. Even then, DA15 port was ultimately not able to handle the demands of newer and more complicated games and their correspondingly more intricate controllers. 
As USB became more widespread with the release of Windows 95C and later Windows 98, joystick manufacturers began to produce joysticks which were designed for the USB interface. They realized, however, that the game port was not totally obsolete yet, and to satisfy that market niche, they took joysticks designed for USB and modified them to function with the DA15 interface. Such joysticks are designed fully for USB on the inside, but on the outside have the ability to send their fully digital signals through the game port. Once USB took hold of the market, however, game port would be phased out after Windows XP. To review, any DA15 joystick which has up to four buttons and four axes is considered an analog joystick and most likely can be adapted using a Mayflash or Rockfire USB game board adapter in analog mode. If your joystick has a POV hat and more than four buttons, it is most likely a digital joystick and needs to either use the special features on your USB to game port adapter, or it needs to be reprogrammed, rewired, or any combination of these things. You should be very careful to research all the technical information that can be found about your particular joystick before determining what method you wish to use to rehabilitate it with Windows 7 or higher. Remember that joystick modding has been around for some time. It is possible that others on this vast internet have already done the things that you want to do.